Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with a quick review of a pipe blockage detecting kit. This product makes it incredibly easy for you to find blockages and pipes that are under the ground or up in a wall, and it's incredibly easy to use. Now, I bought this kit because we had a drainage pipe in my backyard that got clogged over the winter, and we had water backing up near the home. So I bought the kit and I had my son up top of the pipe with the transmitter, sliding it down through the pipe. And then I was using the wand to actually track it as it went through the pipe. And I put a flag down every two or three feet. So I had a perfect idea of where that pipe was and I knew exactly where the blockage was. So instead of digging up my entire lawn looking for the pipe, I was able to dig up just a section about that big to make the repair. I've since used it to clear my downspouts off my gutters and a bunch of other uses around the house. Now, before I get too deep into how the product works and all the technology, behind it. I'd like to start with an unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit and that way you'll understand exactly what you get if you decide this product is right for you. And then I'll spend some time around the technology because there are essentially two components that are used with this kit and again it's incredibly easy to use. You have a transmitter reel that has a little transmitter on the end of it with a flexible connection to a cable that you would slide down inside the pipe. And then there's a detection wand that will pick up the signal from that transmitter and you'll hear it through the detection wand and you can wave that over the ground until you hear the strongest signal and you'll know exactly where that transmitter pod is at that particular moment. So it allows you to track that pipe through the length of the pipe. And then once I'm done with that, I'll do a short demonstration with a short length of pipe right here just to show you how it works because this product for me is a real time saver. It's not like I couldn't get in there with a snake and try and figure out what's going on, but then you have to measure the snake back from the block and figure out, well, where was that pipe? Is it over here? Over here? You're going to end up digging the whole lawn up. So with this one, it just made it a lot simpler. It was a really quick operation. And again, I've used it four or five times since then. So let me get into the unboxing. Now I'm going to move this box because it's certainly going to go flying once I start shaking the table a little bit. All right, so one thing I like about this kit before you even open it is the fact that they give you a nice carrying case with a handle on the top of it. And that's important because it protects the product. But more importantly, if you're like me, I have a lot of tools in my garage. And when I need this, I want to make sure that I have everything I need to use it. So having a case like this protects the product, keeps it from getting dusty and dirty. But more importantly, it organizes everything. So I think it's a nice touch that they've included the case. Open in the flap. There's two Velcro strips right here that keep it closed. And inside the kit, when you slide it out, there's the reel. And there's a little transmitter pod on the end of that. And here's the wand. And there's even a little sleeve where the wand goes in to keep them separated. So that's the receiver wand. And then there are a couple of accessories in here as well. And I think this is great that they include these accessories, and I'll explain those in a minute. But let's start with the actual transmitter and reel. So essentially what you've got here is a transmitter reel with a pot on the end of it right here. And there's a wire running through this cable that connects to a transmitter right here. So when you turn the unit on and there's an internal battery in here, it's a 2600 milliampere hour battery, which means you can run this thing for like 10 or 12 hours, but it basically powers this transmitter. And this is emitting a beacon through the, uh, through the cabling here that's picked up by the wand. So you basically slide this into the tube or whatever pipe you're trying to check and uh, it'll go all the way through that unit. Now, this can be, uh, this is offered at a couple of different lengths. They're offered at a 20 meter, 40 meter, and 60 meter length. I'd recommend going for the 60 meter version because you're never gonna have too much pipe. <laughs> I should say never have too much cable. The pipes are always longer than you anticipate. So having a little extra cable is not a bad thing. The worst thing would be to get the 20 meter one and find out the pipe is 40 meters and you can't really use it for the full length of the pipe. All right, so when you turn this unit on, again, there's a power button right there and there's a charging port right here. So you can plug the cable it comes with it. It's a USB-A to USB-C cable. You'll plug the USB-C cable in here. The USB-A end can plug into any wall charger you've got for your phone or your tablet or your computer, and you can charge this unit up. To turn it on, you'll hold this button right here, and that makes the transmitter active. Now the wand is very similar. On the sides, you'll find another USB-C connection right there. You can charge it through that. Below it is a three and a half millimeter headphone jack, so you can actually use this with headphones if you don't want to have it come out through the speaker. But you don't have to use the headphones, there's a speaker right here. So you'll turn this on and basically wave this over the ground until you pick up the transmitter signal. And then like I did, you can actually move, push the uh, cabling through the pipe and then move this again, you'll find another signal so you know it went from here to here to here. So you'll have a perfect view of exactly where that underground pipe is. All right, 
right, there's a lot of other accessories in here. Let me go through some of these. So for starters, they include a charging cable. Now I've got a longer one I use, that's why it's still in the bag, but it's a USB-A to USB-C, so any wall charger, again, will work. Just plug it in here, plug it into the wall charger. They even include a set of earbuds, which I think is great because you can plug those into the side. You can use any headphone that uses a standard three and a half millimeter, but it's really nice that they include these because they didn't have to do that. Also included is a full instruction manual and a warranty card. I'd recommend sending the warranty card in because it's not like there's a lot of complex electronics in here that can go bad, but you want to make sure you're covered in case something does crop up later on. I've had this for about six months, I guess, at this point. It's working phenomenally well, and I've used it probably four or five times, and it's just every time I have some problems where I can't see where a blockage is in a pipe or the wall or whatever, I'm like, I got that pipe detector. Let me go get that thing and see what's going on. So it works out pretty well. All right, and then the final thing they include, which I think is great, is a repair kit because if you get this into a pipe and you hit that blockage and something gets snagged there's a small chance that this probe in the end the actual transmitter can pull off or get damaged so it's important because that's really the main part of the unit without that you can't really use it they include a repair kit for that and here here's the cool part they didn't just give you one tip they gave you eight tips so eight replacement tips that you can use if you need to to repair this unit. And I just think that that's amazing because a lot of companies would sell you the product and then if you got it stuck in a pipe, that's really your fault for getting it stuck in the pipe uh, and you broke the tip, they're like, well, okay, we can sell you a replacement tip, but you know, it's not included in the kit. Here, they give you eight tips. Now, you're not gonna lose them. Again, I've used this half a dozen times. That tip's as good as it was the day I, I got it. So, but I like the fact that I've got extra tips in case I need them. And they even include some glue to seal the thing up at the end because it's completely watertight. All right, so let's talk about some of the specifications again. Uh, the unit itself has got an IP67 rating on it, which means it can get totally wet. So you can put it in a pipe that's full of water if you want, or a sewer pipe if you've got a lot of debris in there. Uh, again, it's available in a 20 meter, 40 meter, and 60 meter length. My recommendation for a couple extra bucks is go to the 60 meter because then you'll have plenty of extra cabling to get through any pipe you might need. Because a lot of times you buy the product for a specific use case and then you hang on to it. And then a year or two later, you need to do something else to use it. And all of a sudden, boy, I wish I had that 60 meter cable. The other thing that's nice about it is both of these use rechargeable batteries. A lot of the kits that are like this on the market require you to put double A's or triple A's in both sides. And you know what happens, right? You put batteries in it, you use it to get that blockage cleared, you put it away in your toolbox, a year or two goes by and you go, hey, I need that tool again. You go out there and the batteries are all corroded and everything else. So having rechargeables means I never have to worry about changing the batteries. Simply charge these two units and they're ready to rock and roll. Um, 12 hours of use for the both of the units, 10 to 12 hours, 2,600 milliampere hours here. It's either 14 or 1,600 milliampere hours here. But this one, from my experience, lasted longer than the transmitter did. And I only ran it down because I didn't charge it by the last time I used it. We used it and then I put it away for a while and then we had a quick fix that I had to get one of the gutters cleaned out. And I basically took it out of the toolbox, took it outside, and I noticed this died first and then this died. But you know, I took it inside, charged it for 15 minutes, went out and finished the job. All right, so let's see how you use the product. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way here, just so I've got a clear desk to go. And again, it could not be simpler. You're basically chasing the transmitter through the pipe. And I'll start with a length of pipe. Let me get this guy out of the way. Here's a typical length of pipe. Again, it's just PVC, but you can understand that this could be a sewer drain, it could be a downspout from your gutters, whatever it happens to be. And all you have to do is extend this, and again, you can spin the reel, and you'll see that it'll pop out like that. And then you're gonna put this on the end of the pipe over here, into the pipe, just like this, and slide it down the pipe. Now, this unit has got a volume control on the front where you can turn it on here. You'll spin that to turn it on, just like this. And you can turn the sensitivity up. Hear that hum there? I'm suspecting this is running on an AM radio frequency because that, that sure sounds like an AM radio hub. It's definitely an amplifier, but you'll run it along the pipe, along the ground. Oh, I didn't turn the unit on. You have to turn, you have to turn the transmitter on for this to work. So hold down the power button. All right, now it's on. Oh, oh, look at that. All right, so obviously you can see it's catching the probe there, right? Now let me slide that probe back through the tube I'm not going to really look at where it is. Let me get it in the tube there. All right, Rick, come on. Oh, geez. Holy smokes, this is not that easy. All right, these demos are getting tougher and tougher. I'll be honest with you. All right, it's in the pipe. Now, let's pretend I'm in the backyard and I'm trying to find it. I'm above ground. Oh, look at that. I'm a foot away from it. And I can turn the sensitivity up even further. So you're looking for the loudest 
which would put it right there. But even up here, right there, I'm about a foot underground there, which is pretty amazing. Now, this will work through PVC pipes like I'm showing you here. It'll work through metal pipes, aluminum pipes. Uh, depending on the depth and what material you're scanning through, it can vary. But for me, certainly in a wall that's, uh, you know, uh, in your house, if you've got sheetrock up or something, it's really easy to determine where that pipe is or where the probe is. Underground, I think our pipe was buried. The deepest part of it was about a foot, maybe a foot and a half, and it found it no problem. And I had to turn this way up to actually have the sensitivity, and I had it right in the ground, scanning across the ground, but it picked up the signal really well. When you're done, make sure you turn this off, because I always forget, and then the batteries die. But that's how you turn it off, just tap that button. So it really is just that easy to get it working. And I'm sure you're already thinking, boy, this could really come in handy around the house. There's a lot of places that I need to actually find a hidden pipe or a hidden channel or something in my house. This will work great for you. So hopefully you found this review helpful. I think this product is one of those tools that you may not buy right away, but there's going to come a time where you need to find something that's hidden. And having a tool like this that I can snake through a hidden cavity, a tube, a pipe, a downspout, a sewer pipe, whatever it happens to be, I know that I've got the ability to find not only where the pipe is under the concrete in my basement or under the dirt in my backyard, but I can also locate exactly where that probe stops so I know the blockage is right here. And instead of digging up this entire lawn in front of it, I can just dig up this section if I need to, clear that blockage or replace that pipe that's broken, and I'm ready to rock and roll. So pretty cool product. I like it a lot. I think you'll like it a lot as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this review helpful. And until next time, as always, stay nerdy.